Dear CG Thinkers, welcome. One morning, I woke up and said to myself, mm, I would like to make an image of a barrel with bullets in cinematic image style, announcing the next hitman. Yes. Without missing a bit, I open Blender and start molding the barrel. Nothing too complicated, of course, using Fluent, one cylinder for the main object, a small cylinder for the central hole, and two more cylinders for the famous outer pattern that makes a barrel look like a barrel, and the holes for the bullets. In the end, a barrel is just cylinders. I thought to myself as I suddenly added a bevel to my object. And then the drama begins. I thought about using my normal repair tool, but the problem here is that the mesh has overlapping everywhere. I suck at retopology. I'm going to spend an awful lot of time on it. Well, that's what would have happened if I didn't know about this tool that has become my secret weapon when all seems lost. Quad remesher. This add-on will enable you to perform automatic retopology, and to my knowledge, it is the only one that works on hard surface modeling. For me, it's the best on the market for Blender. Let's be clear. I'm not being paid in any way to make this video. I'm simply sharing uh, with you my experience of a tool I use personally. By the way, I'm a big add-on consumer. So if you would like more videos in which an add-on developer tests uh, other add-ons, let me know in the comments. I've got a bunch of add-ons in stock. It's the best. It works wonders, but you have to know how to use it, otherwise the results are bad. First of all, don't use bevels on your edges. Keep the edges hard. This makes it easier for the algorithm to discern shapes, and it avoids completely blown out results like this. Increase adaptive size. I typically set this to 75 or 100. This allows the program to vary the size of the faces to better adapt to areas that require more detail. It's better, but not crazy. So let's get on with it. Check Adapt Quad Count. This allows the program to adjust the number of uh, faces itself. If the, if the initial estimate is way off the mark for a good result, it will adapt the number of faces itself, bearing in mind your basic request. Now that sounds good. Here's my final tip for optimum results uh, in as many situations as possible. Your model needs to be fairly dense in terms of mesh before we topology. The denser your object, the more shape information it contains. As you can see, the aim of all these tricks is to make your model as clear as possible for the algorithm. Like all tools, it has its limitations. Uh, I use it for hard surface modeling. The main limitations I've found is that it's completely lost if there's too much discrepancy between the size of the details. In other words, uh, it works very well if when you have a certain homogeneity in your model, but large discrepancies in size will give horrible results even if the object to be reworked is simple. In the end, do I recommend this add-on? It's already saved my life several times, so yes. It's not free, but without it, you will either spend all day on it or give up. In any case, you know it exists. If you would like to see me test other add-ons and get the opinion of a user who's also a developer, 
let me know in the comments. On that note, I will see you next time and don't forget, we get tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.